Workplace Safety Tips Staying healthy and safe at workplace is important. No matter what your job, it is important to reduce your injury and illness at workplace. To prevent workplace injuries, do this. Always wear personal protective equipment, because you are responsible for your own safety. Never wear loose clothes or slippery footwear. Do not take shortcuts, always follow the rules. Use equipment or machinery, only when you are trained. If you are not trained, do not use. Stay hydrated all the time. Always prepared for medical emergency situations. Wheelbarrow safety. Wheelbarrows are essential roofing tools that can be hazardous when used incorrectly. Wheelbarrows don't have any motorized parts or sharp edges and are simple to use. The proper use and maintenance of wheelbarrows can prevent many accidents. At workplace employees should use the following tips to stay safe while using a wheelbarrow. Employees should not operate this wheelbarrow on slippery, wet, muddy, or icy surfaces. A safe footing is essential when operating this machine. At workplace, workers should replace handles which are split or splintered. Employees should always keep your speed under control at workplace. When not in use wheelbarrows should be stored so that they do not become obstacles for you or others. At workplace, employees should keep wheelbarrows properly lubricated for easier use. Keep a tight grip on the handles. Employees should wear personal protective equipment when handling a wheelbarrow. Tool safety. Tools of various shapes and sizes are used every day, at every workplace, and in many industrial applications. Most injuries result from misuse and improper maintenance of tools. Every year, approximately 11% of injuries at workplace are related to the improper use of equipment. To prevent hazards associated with the use of tools, workers should observe the following general precautions. Employees should regularly check all tools at the workplace and should not use damaged tools. Employees must use the right tools for work at the workplace. Employees should always keep tools clean and in good condition at workplace. Employees should use appropriate personal protective equipment for the work. Electrical safety tips. Electrical safety is most important in workplace because electrical current can cause shocks, fires, explosions, burns, falls which can be fatal or cause serious injuries. Follow these safety tips to avoid serious electrical injuries. All electrical work should be performed by a licensed electrician. Do not make any electricity connection if you are not qualified. Check the damage to the electrical cables before using the equipment. Turn off the switch before plug in or plug off. Unplug electrical equipment by holding the plug top. Do not touch electrical appliances with wet hands. Do not install too many plug on one socket. If the electrical cable is broken, do not approach, report to the authorized person. Hand safety. Hand injuries at the workplace are very common like cut, scrapes, punctures etc. Approximately 10% of the injuries that occur at the workplace are hand-related injuries. Employees should follow following points to avoid hand injuries. 1. Employees should hold the tools lightly while working at workplace. 2. Employees should check the guards on machine before working and guards should have on every machines. 3. Employees should always wear appropriate gloves while working at workplace. 4. Don't misuse of any tools 
because it may be cause of hand injuries. 5. Employees should always use padded grips to avoid vibration of tools. Forklift safety tips. A forklift is a powered truck used to carry, lift, stack, or tear materials. Forklifts are extremely useful workplace vehicles, as long as they are used safely and appropriately by operators. Forklifts can be dangerous too as they account for 25% of injuries at work. The following forklift safety tips will help you, and those you work with stay safe around forklifts. Always wear a seat belt, while operating a forklift. Know the load limits of the forklift before operating. Sound the horn, at blind corners, and at intersections. Do not let anybody ride on the forks. Keep the forklift in well-maintained condition. Ladder safety tips. The use of a ladder to get to out of reach heights is common in the home and in the workplace. Ladder accidents happen all the time and serious injuries or death. To prevent ladder injuries, do this. Use a ladder of the correct length. Inspect the ladder carefully. Secure the ladder at the top. Set on a reliable surface. Always face ladder when ascending or descending. Top of ladder should never be used as a step. Always maintain three points of contact on the ladder, two feet and one hand, or, two hands and one feet. Should never be moved when you work on ladder. Scaffold safety. Scaffolds can be a safer and more productive way to work than ladders, but they must be set up correctly. Every year, 4,500 workers are injured in scaffold-related incidents, and as many as 50 actually die. At workplace, workers should follow the following points to scaffold safety. At workplace, a competent person shall be clearly identified for all scaffolding work. Make sure the scaffolding boards are in place and in good condition. Install guards and tow boards on all scaffolds that are 10 feet or 2 frames above the ground. Employees should inspect and maintain a scaffold on a daily basis. Employees should keep your workplace organized. The scaffold must be strong enough for the usage purpose. Employees should place the guardrails and tow boards firmly. Don't climb or stretch out over the guardrails. Incomplete scaffold must be blocked off or must display a warning sign that it must not be used. Do not use a ladder or other device on scaffolding platforms to increase height or reach. Tied scaffold adequately where required. Excavation safety. Excavations are recognized as one of the most hazardous operations in the construction industry. Excavation cavens can cause serious and often fatal injuries to employees. These injuries and fatalities are preventable with planning and proper execution of safety precautions. At workplace employees should follow the following points to stay safe. All employees working in an excavation must receive initial training. An underground utility survey must be conducted prior to the start of any excavation. Excavated material must be placed at least two feet from the edge of any excavation. A competent person must be clearly identified for all excavations. This person must be knowledgeable in assessing soil conditions, the use of protective systems. Employees should check weather conditions before work. At workplace employees should keep heavy equipment, tools, and other materials away from trench edges. Employees should always wear proper personal protective equipment at workplace. Fall prevention. Falls are a common but often overlooked cause of injury, and sometimes death. A fall can occur during simple activities like, 
walking on uneven, slippery surface, and climbing a ladder, or as a result of complex activities involving work at heights. Fall incidents can also happen when fall protection equipment is misused. Employees should follow the following advice for preventing falls at workplace. Employees should keep floors dry and wipe up spills immediately. Have a residence eyes checked at least yearly. Daily exercise helps maintain balance, strength, and flexibility. Doorways should be wide to pass through easily. Employee shoes should be fitted properly, have non-slip shoes. And support the foot. At workplace, employees should never stand on the top step of a ladder. Employees should use handrails to go up or down the stairs. Employees should use appropriate fall protection equipment. Overhead power line safety. Overhead power lines at your site are especially hazardous because they carry extremely high voltage. When machinery, equipment, or other objects come close to or make contact with overhead power lines, it can result in death, electric shock, and significant property damage. At workplace, employees should follow the following points to stay safe. Employees should keep self and equipment 10 feet away from all overhead power lines. At workplace employees should never touch a person who is in contact with a live power line. Conduct initial and daily surveys of the job site and implement control measures and training to address hazards. Employees should never touch an overhead line. If it is down or has fallen. Avoid storing materials underneath or near overhead power lines. Employees should never spray water near overhead power lines. When mechanical equipment is being operated near overhead power lines, employees standing on the ground should not contact the equipment unless it is located so that the required clearance cannot be violated even at the maximum reach of the equipment. Employees should use right personal protective equipment at workplace. Lightning is a serious hazard both on and off the job. Workers need to identify and plan for the potential of lightning before beginning a work activity during storm season. Workers must have a plan of when they will cease work and where they will go if lightning occurs during that day. The best practice to avoid getting struck by lightning is to take shelter indoors. Not only workers employers also need awareness about lightning hazards to ensure their workers safety. This video provides employers and workers at outdoor work sites with lightning safety. Stop outdoor work and stay inside safe shelter. Stay away from metal pipes, cable, structure, or fences. Remove metal objects from body. Stay away from windows. Use battery operated radio for listening weather broadcasts. Follow safety instructions. Always remain alert on changes of working environment. Don't stay in water or at exposed areas. Don't stay at areas higher than the surrounding landscape, such as hilltops. Don't stay under trees, lampposts, or any conductive objects. Don't use plugged in electrical equipment. Don't use corded telephone. Don't wear highly conductive equipment. Don't hold rod-like or sharp pointed long objects. Don't lean against vehicles or walls of structure. Don't rely on rubber boots and raincoats as protection from lightning strike. 
We all know that exposure to heat can cause illness and death. The most serious heat illness is heat stroke. Other heat illnesses, such as heat exhaustion, heat cramps, and heat rash, should also be avoided. But by taking the following precautions, when temperatures are high, and the job involves physical work, we can protect workers from heat stress. Establish a complete heat illness prevention program. Provide training about the hazards leading to heat stress, and how to prevent them. Provide a lot of cool water to workers, close to the work area. Modify work schedules, and arrange frequent rest periods with water breaks in shaded, or air-conditioned areas. Gradually increase workloads, and allow more frequent breaks for workers new to the heat, or those that have been away from work, to adapt to working in the heat. Designate a responsible person, to monitor conditions and protect workers, who are at risk of heat stress. Consider protective clothing, that provides cooling. 